Hi, my name is Eon, and today I will continue building LibreFlip, and this is part two of the wiring. Let me explain how all of this should go together. I prepared a small wooden block, and that small wooden block goes in here, and the air pump goes in like this. So that this tube is on top of that exit thing here, because otherwise there wouldn't be enough space to close up the box with this board again. And now I need to figure out a way how to mount the pumps in here. The O-Droid goes on the back wall like this, and I will tilt it a bit because that seems to be the most space efficient in this configuration. And now I want to figure out a way to mount these pumps with these hooks uh, and uh, some of the rubber springs that I've used for the suction box as well. Let's drill some holes for the hooks. It's a very delicate 1.5 millimeter drill. I prepared the small block with uh, some hooks and the rough outline, so let's put this thing on there in the right orientation, like this, and I further prepared this piece of rubber spring, which goes around here, here, there, and then on the other side, on the, in the two hooks, and now this thing goes uh, in, yeah, same place than before, here. Let's put in the first pump and then the second pump. Let me pre-drill a hole. Let's put the first pump in. Uh, the rubber band goes around the hooks, around this nozzle thing, and on the hook there, the tube goes on there, and then I'll just pull up the rubber springs here. Good. That's, that looks that looks good. That's pretty sturdy. Sturdy enough. The other pump got off camera. A second rubber band that wraps around. This is new. And this is new. And now this is rock solid. Let's put this one in as well. And now with this single screw, I'll mount this. Good! Yay, both pumps in. Now I can unravel this cable. Start to think about uh, 230 volts connections. Maybe I should first uh, mount the O-Droid in there. Let's put the O-Droid in here, tilted, because this way most of the plugs are still easily accessible and it feels rather loose and not under too much tension. I've marked where I want to put it with a small line here. I'm of the firm conviction that no project can be complete without the usage of hot glue and the book scanner is no exception, so I will use hot glue to mount the Odroid. Let's apply some hot glue. And now let's put the Odroid on. It's on there. Great! So. The only way to get all of this in is to put the PSU for the 12 volt stuff here and the USB hub right behind there because this way I can slide it out and change the plugs or something if I need to. But to mount this on here is... Uh, I haven't found a good solution but instead I will just mount it on here so it stays on this outside board. Let's do this and again I will use a hot glue because no project is complete without hot glue. Trust me on this one. And now I can wire this cable on here and fix it nicely in place because it goes in this junction box. Let's let's wire this up. This cable goes in here and to this junction box, let's leave it a bit longer.
let's put a bit of well, what's that foam yeah foamy rubbery material with sticky back if you know the name of this stuff put it in the comments please put it here so this compresses the hub a bit against the back and this other thing goes here in the corner behind the usb hub let's apply that as well like this so this now when closed creates a good connection that holds it tightly in place these two cables are from the two pumps and they are actually on switchable power so here's a small relay board and this relay board needs power and switches the pumps on and off so i need to wire this up and first i want to leave some slack here in case i need to exchange the pump like this and take off and, and strip the cable down to the other hand let's cut it here and start stripping okay let's cut the brown wire about here and put a cable shoe on there okay and the blue wire also gets a cable shoe but at the far other other end and where's the end of the broad wire that i just cut off i need that yeah we found it it's here that is the cable from suck and the number is one so it goes in the k1 i'll grab a small screwdriver so the first pump is the pump is connected now let's do the same thing for the blower let's make the second one and from here on it goes up to here and i'll cut it off here while i was fiddling with it turns out a much better location for this board would be right there because then it goes basically like here and that's a convenient place for this and it's much much easier to access and to service so let's put the board here 2.5 by 12. let's stuff all the cables in here and see whether this actually fits so uh, from this the obvious best placement for the arduino is actually right here because uh, the connection between the relay board and the Arduino is short and the connection between the 12 volt power supply unit and the Arduino and the relay board is short so this is really really good to have this here instead of over there let's mount the Arduino let's try with this USB cable I guess this is a good location again 2.5 by 12 Arduino clips in here so the relay board can now switch the pumps if I would put a fuse in here everything that I've been doing has been without any connection to the power grid this plug has a fuse holder and I deliberately haven't put the fuse in yet so if, even if someone would uh, plug in a cable into this no power could reach any of the circuitry I will have all of this checked by a proper electrician before I will put the fuse in. Let's see if this all fits together. Yes, very nice. I am very happy about how this turned out so far. Let's open this leg up and let's continue with the 12 volt wiring. Thanks for watching. And if you just made your way into this series, thanks for checking this out. This is just one episode of a longer series where I show all the steps to make LibreFlip, the Patreon ebook scanner. During this series, I will publish all plans for you to download. I am grateful for the support of Wikimedia Germany. If you like to learn more about this project, please check out the project website. The link is in the description. If you can't wait for the next episode, please consider to subscribe to this channel and to follow this project on Twitter. Stay tuned and have a good day.